The following portion of Ozark's Fox AM is sponsored by Race Brothers Farm and Home Supply. It's time to start thinking about that early spring maintenance and thinking about everything that's about to grow and sprout in your yard. And your first stop is right here at Race Brothers Farm and Home Supply. Roger, good to see you. Good to see you. Good I'm, to talk about spring. Aren't you ready for it? I am. I'm I am ready. sick of winter. I'm ready for spring. It's officially sprung. So there's things you got to do in preparation for the spring and summer months. That's right. There's a lot of prep to really get going. You have to get everything cleaned up in your yard, maybe mm -hmm. picking up limbs and branches and your trimming, pruning, uh, even checking how clean, you know, maybe your deck needs to be cleaned mm -hmm. or is your fence red good? Just all those little things that need attention before you get started. So if somebody wants to like, they have that branch that's coming over a little far, they, it's fallen or maybe their deck needs cleaning and even, you know, even the perennials, I've been having to trim some of back of my ornamental grass. You have everything you need right here to help and make that process easy. Right, yeah, we'll have all the tools, whether it be the little hand pruners or mm -hmm. chainsaws, trim saws, uh, the uh, weed eater type, you know, mm -hmm. the string trimmers, blowers, and um, all the tools you'll need to, and even pressure washers. You got a deck or a pool mm -hmm. deck or something, we've got a pressure washer that would be handy. So just a lot to think about, but there's a lot of these things that really help you get the job done right. And something my dad and grandpa always told me was, the, the the task that seems the hardest is the easiest if you have the proper tool. That's right. You got to get the right tool for the right job because then it makes it so easy and it's kind of fun then too. Yeah, because it's already work, so make it the easiest and best you can. Don't it's the don't truth. make it a struggle. Yeah. And uh, you know this time of year they need to be maybe overseeding or reseeding their lawn, and you, mm -hmm. you don't want to wait too long to get that going. And um, then there's whether you want to put a pre-emerge down to, for your grass to start, or if it's already up, then you might want to weed and feed. Oh, there's yeah. always different steps throughout this throughout the year, mm -hmm. and of course in spring you're mainly going to get ready to seed and stuff like that. Right. There's always stuff to do. There, well, that's the thing. There's always something to do, yeah. including I know a lot of people. I like to have a compost. Uh, pile as well. You can take everything from the winter, get it all piled up and make a compost? Yes, yes. In fact, really, people should let the grass clippings fall and stay. They're natural mulch. Oh. Sometimes if you get too too far behind, you know, this grass has got way ahead of you, yeah. then you probably need to bag it or it'll, it'll uh, maybe kill off some grass, but mm -hmm. you might as well take advantage of natural mulch. Mm -hmm. And it's also time, by the think of that, is get your lawnmower tuned up and your blade sharpened. And they should be sharpened a couple times a year. It'll cut better and easier when they're sharp. Mm -hmm. What is the process too? Because I know I have kind of let some lawn mowers in my day go bad because I didn't turn them on. They didn't have proper maintenance or proper care with the lawn mower. So that's important too. Yes, yes. And, and in the winter time, if you've got a gasoline powered, which a lot of people are converting, but they should, you should put a uh, treatment in your gas tank that'll mm -hmm. keep the gas from going bad over the winter. Um, blade, and the blade sharpening, the best bet is to have two sets of blades. When you take one off to bring it here to be sharpened, you put the other one on and you don't have to wait or, or not be able to mow for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then people do that. And same with their chainsaw. They have a few chains, they drop some off to be sharpened and they put the new ones on and they're ready to go. I, do you know how many chainsaw blades I need sharpened? <laughs> I have a lot and know where I'm going now. And you said too, a lot of people converting. Do you have a lot of electric products as well? Yeah, a lot of these things are going to lithium ion powered. Even some of the riding mowers are that way now. Mm -hmm. A lot of the push mowers and uh, it's just a great way to go for the ecology even. You're not using the gasoline, but you don't have to maintenance of gas going bad or any of that. You plug that battery in and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And it's also better for people maybe that are a little bit older, have a hard time starting a gasoline. I have you a hard put, time starting. Does that yeah. just show how out of shape I am or what, <laughs> Roger? Because <laughs> I do like the electric and you have such a huge selection here. So if somebody wants more information, like where are you located? Where can they, can they stop by you and bet. ask the esper, experts the questions? Yeah, come to 2310 West Kearney here in Springfield and we've got experts in every department, whether it's the lawn and garden area with your questions on chemicals or the seeds and that stuff, to our power equipment. These people know which what you're going to need, what size mower to do the job right. You don't want to we don't want you to overbuy, but you certainly don't want to underbuy. Right, it's the right tool for the right project. Exactly. And that's what the experts here are gonna help you with. Roger, thank you so much, appreciate your time. Spring has sprung and your first step is right here at Race Brothers Farm and Home Supply. And Western, and Western Wear. Wear, that's right. <laughs> the preceding portion of Ozark's Fox AM was sponsored by Race Brothers Farm and Home Supply.